Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Night Legion. Let's play some more of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, we have a bunch of Kikimora in front of us and a cave to explore. I think we need to get straight to this. So, we are pretty much as prepared as we can be. Um, I am going to select my grape shot. And let's see if we can't open this up with. Yeah, that works. Hey, guys! Shit! Oh, god damn it. Okay, well you want fire, which is good. Oh man, that insect oil does a lot of damage. Okay, not bad. There was only a small group of them this time. Cool, we came out of that pretty well. Let's uh, eat another grilled chicken sandwich and loot the bodies. Uh, speaking of bodies, hello. Who are you? Letter to Martina Kriska. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of money. And a formula for a mutagen transmuter, blue to red. And a bunch of books. What the hell? Who is this? Okay, let's read the letter. Dear Martina Kriska, congratulations on being promoted to the Imperial Academy at Castel Grappion. I'm sure you'll quickly become one of the institution's premier scholars. Yet, before you set off for Nilfgaard, I, old Victor Monart, would like to ask you a small favour. You know my sons, you play together as children, so you know how hard it is to coax them to get along. I feel in my bones it will soon come time for me to leave this veil of tears, yet I shall go with a heavy heart knowing Auguste, Hugo and Lucien will go at each other's throats as soon as I pass. Thus I have dismantled my feigned still into three parts and ask you, my darling Martina, to hide them from my sons. Perhaps searching together for the missing pieces of a machine which will give them wealth will bind them together and forever put an end to these foolish quarrels. In exchange for your trouble I have included a modest pouch of coin. I wish you good luck your devoted servant, Victor Monard. So, we actually, we just met the brothers previously in the last episode, and two of them, from what we could tell, were trying to kill the third one to get the part of the still that was hidden in these caves. So this is the lady who actually hid the still parts, and she hid the last of them here, which turned out to be a really bad idea, because it looks like she got, you know, killed. Well, I got all the money, so that's not too bad. That is quite sad, though. She had a promising career, and she ended up dead in a cave, and no one even knew it. Mm, magic. A place of power. New sword. Thank you. Hello. Haven't seen a place of power in a while. Let's uh, take advantage of this, shall we? Gained an extra ability point, which means I should now... And Axios intensity increased. Oh, nice. For one hour, I think. Right, if we look at our character... Yeah, we have two points available, which means we can now actually do one of our mutagen upgrades. So, what can we actually? What do we actually want? Uh, we can magic sensibilities will allow science to deal critical hits, which is pretty good. So, forty-four percent chance to deal an additional two hundred two hundred thirty-six percent damage, and opponents killed by critical hits from science explode. Wow. Uh, I have a lot of greater blue mutagens on me right now, so that is pretty that's pretty good, you know. Almost a fifty percent chance to do an additional two hundred and thirty six percent damage. Damn. Uh deadly counter. Sword attacks deal twenty five percent more damage to human opponents and immune No, oh, sorry. Twenty five percent damage twenty five percent more damage to human opponents immune to counter attacks and monsters. Oh, okay. And basically we finish off them when they're 25% lower. That is pretty good. Uh, what's the last one? Toxic Blood. Each time you're injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of damage dealt. Uh, so 1.5% up to a maximum of 150%. Yeah, that's also pretty good. I like the idea of my signs doing 236% more damage though. Um, that seems pretty useful and I do like setting people on fire a lot, so I'm going to take that one right now. That's pretty cool. Um, and that does mean we could move on to Ard. Ooh, Ard could actually freeze opponents. 
Opponents knocked down and frozen simultaneously die. Opponents who are not frozen are dealt an additional 3,839 damage. Holy crap, I want that. I want that so badly. Art is pretty fun. Let's be honest. Uh, oh, yeah, and I get more slots. Oh, so when I... Oh, I forgot about that. When I unlock more mutations, I actually get more slots for abilities, which is also really good. Oh, my God, I need that so badly. I need, I need all of that in my life. Okay, right. So we've explored this branch. Let's see where this path leads. Can I get that torch out again? I could also take a potion. That was not what I meant to do. Well, I've got increased damage in case I come across anything nasty. Uh, okay, so this leads me back here. I guess... Yeah, if I hadn't already found the still part before rescuing the brother, I'd know that there was something hidden down here, and now I'd be looking for it, would be how that would work. That makes sense. Ooh, gold nuggets. Nice. I still don't know what I should do with that stuff, but, you know, I have the stuff to do stuff with when I find out what it is. Uh, is there anything else over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, there was one other tunnel leading away from this area. Uh, yeah, we came in this way, which led back that way. So if I go back to here, this is the main entrance kind of chamber area. Nope, I've gone the wrong way. It's fine, We can let's go down this tunnel. Okay, so this is where we came in. This will lead us to the main entrance area. Maybe? I am getting so turned around right now. Where did I come in from? Hang on. Right, that's the entrance. Okay, we came in here. That's where I knocked a hole in the wall. That's the path up there that leads towards where the brother was. We want to go up here because we haven't been up this way. Oh, apart from I can't get up that way. Maybe I have to come in from, from where the brother was? How do I get up there? It looks like there's definitely something up there. And there's another path there? Hang on. Oh, that's the tunnel I blew open. Right. This is another one. Where does this one lead? Okay, this leads back to the same place. Right, I've got you. So there were actually two ways into that area. Man, I'm getting very, I'm getting so turned around down here. Okay, this takes us back to here. Right, we've got all the stuff from the pool. Let's skirt around the edge. Head up along here. Right, this is where we rescued the brother from. Did he leave any stuff behind, out of interest? We never actually got to investigate this area. Because, of course, we were immediately thrown into a cutscene, so... Let's see what we can see. Uh, he had a little... He had a torch he's left burning. No sense of fire safety, clearly. Is there anything else down here? No, that looks like he was it. Okay. And then this, I guess, leads up to the drop-down... Aha! Yeah, so that leads us back into this. Well, that seems... that makes perfect sense to me. Okay, we actually got some cool stuff out of that. And I've got to upgrade my first mutation, so... You know... Chance that every time I set someone on fire, it does 236 extra damage, and then possibly makes them explode. I'm pretty okay with that, I've got to be honest. There's nothing about that that I don't like. Now, where are we? We are... In an area we've not been to before, there's... Is that Roach? Okay, there's Roach over there. Although I could have sworn I left Roach over here, but I suppose that doesn't matter. We've got a whole bunch of undiscovered stuff around here, including some ruins. Yeah, we need to go exploring. Before we do that, though, I believe we have a secondary quest. Yep. One of our contracts from the Camelenjo is in this area, I swear. Let's have a look. That house up there, yeah. And that will get get us some money as well. Okay, let's go check this place out first. So I want to head that direction. We'll go on foot because it's pretty close and I do have my torch. Uh, there's also a campsite down there. Let's maybe check out the campsite. Could be brigands or something or someone who needs killing and has money. Hello? Anyone here? Oh. 
That's a bit unusual. Why is there no one here at this campsite? I mean, they've left a whole bunch of stuff around. That's a bit worrying. Well, I guess if they're not using this stuff... Ooh, yeah, okay. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we're going to take a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, if you will leave your campsite unattended, this isn't... You shouldn't be too surprised this kind of thing happens, let's be honest. Okay. I thought there might be people there, but apparently not. A bit disconcerting just to find an abandoned campsite in the middle of the night, but oh well. Maybe they went home for the evening. Maybe I shouldn't read too much into that. Okay, so these are the old ruins. Is there anything around them? Not seeing anything. What have we got here? My Witcher senses aren't picking up any monsters in the vicinity. Oh, but we have found some hidden treasure. Hidden treasure is usually guarded. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's there's totally a woman there. Or a person in a cloak, I'm not sure. It looks like a lady. Uh Hi. Lady Hooded woman. Is this the vampire lady? What the? What the actual? Oh, it's an alp. Oh god, this is some kind of vampire, and I have no idea. And you're level forty-two, right? No, 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 no. Oh, I could try and set you on fire. Enjoy, enjoy fire. Okay, you know you're level forty-two. You are going to kick my ass. Yeah, I've done almost no damage to you. Uh, we could try and make a fight out of this. What? Yeah, I mean, Dementarium Bomb could stop it going invisible. Igni will do a lot of damage, or I could try and Arda to knock her prone. I could apply some... Let's give this a try. She is higher level than us, but not massively. Where's my superior... Va I need my... I need my anti-vampire oil. I've only got enhanced vampire oil. I need better vampire oil. Okay. Let's see if we can make a fight out of this. Because I do have increased sign intensity as well. Where'd you go? I knew a hood... What are you doing? Why were you wearing clothes and you're now not? Oh god. Oh god almighty. That's a lot of attacks in quick succession. Okay, enjoy that. No, oh, okay. Dimitrium does not stop her doing that. Oh, I'm in, I'm in the magic field. I can't cast my sign in a magic field. Whoa! Okay, no, you are going to kill me. You are going to kill me so bad. This is just not happening. Run! Run, Geralt! Run! We cannot fight that thing. I don't even know what it's doing. Please stop chasing me. Whoa. Okay, so, as I kind of suspected, finding strange women in abandoned ruins late at night was not a good thing. And there's also some, something ahead of me as well. God damn it. It's not a monster, though. Probably another panther, knowing my luck. Man, okay, that was interesting. I wonder if... Oh, it's a... Oh, there's a herd of boar. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm not too afraid of those. I want to try and... I want to try and go back and fight that again. I know it's stupid. I know we're getting our ass kicked, but... She's just... She's so quick. You know what? I think Quen. No, not Quen. Yarden. If we can trap her, stop her moving around, stop her doing all that stuff, then throw a Dimitrium Bomb on top of her, then we can get some good damage. I'm going to give that one try. One more try. Bastoy Prison Ruins. Okay, now I know the name of this place. That's cool. Right, where... Is... There she is. You can see on the mini-map she's up ahead of me. I'm slightly confused about why she appeared as a hooded woman and then chose to fight naked. I mean, what stops something like that wearing armour? Oh, she's... Yeah. Okay. I don't want to fight you in here. The uh, This isn't a good place to fight. Come on, where are you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, God. It's, this is actually... The damn thing's actually toying with me. Whoa. Okay, that's gonna... Yeah. 
Right, you're in there, you're slow. Damn, that didn't work. I thought one of these one of these abilities has gotta stop you doing that stuff. Okay. No, okay, that's just a physical ability. She can just jump around like a mad person. I'm trying to cast a sign in my own Demetria bomb. Okay. Now I'm outside the field. She's in it. Okay, managed to set her on fire. She's taken some damage. I've got to get away from that. Alright, let's try and put down some more Quen. Come on, I need that field to go away. There we go. How can she still do that in the field? That's crazy. Okay, we're actually doing pretty well here. We're managing to stack up some damage. Yeah, you keep doing that when I'm not in range, that's fine. Damn, she is blocking a lot of my attacks. And dodging them as well, which is rude. Look at that! The mobility on that is crazy. I just drunk a whole. I did, just pressed all the buttons. Yeah, I'm actually not doing that much damage with my sword because she keeps dodging all the attacks, which is crazy. Have another bomb. Yeah, see, how do you feel about that? Damn, just cannot hit her like that. How do you like that, my holes, eh? Oh man, even when she's slowed, I can't hit her. That's crazy. Okay, we are kind of starting to win this fight, though. Actually, I wonder, could I get something with Ard going? She's got, like, an Ard-like ability, which is pretty interesting. Oh, that worked. Oh, she somehow dodged out of the, um... Even though that usually would kill her, she still managed to dodge out of it. Whoa, you're behind me. That leaping around is bad. Oh! Oh, she's dead. Okay. Wow. I. She still had like 25% health left. Maybe that was my... Okay, no, because I didn't choose that ability. I don't know. She's dead. That was very sudden. I wasn't expecting that. Holy crap, that was a level 42 Alp. I've never fought an Alp before. That was one hell of a fight. Let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah, so it is a type of vampire. Why does this place have so many vampires? Also, hopefully that loot was really good. Oh, it's a dead guy. A clerk's diary and an old key. Okay. What do we got? Fragment of a journal soiled with blood and spinal fluid. Nice. It pretended to be just another day at a, as a clerk at the Ducal Treasury. Start the morning with baguette and camberbear, then shuffle some parchments and head home for, before dusk. Today, however, the normal order of things was disturbed. Dramatically. I came across a highly interesting note in the archives, and along with it, a key. The key is the more interesting find, because according to what I could decipher from the dust-covered scribblings on the note, it opens a chest full of gold coins, but I'm getting ahead of myself. While doing some routine straightening of the files, I found a report outlining procedures for the reform of Bastoy Prison, orders straight from Duke Henry Gras. We are all aware how badly this experiment ended, for the ruins of that prison to this day frighten any potential tourists with their battered skeletons and legends about howling spirits of the murdered guards. Yet, I did not know that hiding among the abandoned ruins there was a chest, and that its key was lying right under my nose. The chest supposedly contains crowns meant for the purchase of books and rations for the inmates of Bastoy. One of the clerks employed here at the time committed a sin of omission and sent the chest to the warden without the key. Yet perhaps that was for the best, the warden was impaled, and the guards all skinned alive, meaning those degenerates would have also got their hands on the chest had he received the key. As it is, might the chest still be there, unopened? Folks say a curse has fallen on that place, a dark power brought down by the bestiality of the murders it beheld. But folk also say an Ophieri will become Emperor of Nilfgaard and herald the end of the world, so there's not much point in giving any such jabbering much credence. Ooh. Okay. The Toussaint Prison Experiment. Yeah, what kind of experiment were they doing that meant that the guards impaled the warden and skinned the guards alive? That's that's pretty bad. I also want to look up Alps, because that's new. Okay, vampires, Alps. What the hell? Looked like a Bruxer, but was no Bruxer. Alps are vampires that resemble Bruxer in appearance. They are called phantoms by some, a name which fits well enough for the like phantoms they haunt and torment men. 
They usually take on the form of a woman, although they can also appear as animals. Found prowling near villages, attack at night, and are most active when the moon is full, so I shouldn't have been fighting this thing at night for a start. Alps saliva can make one fall asleep, and when applied to a sleeping man can invoke horrible nightmares. Interesting. Okay. So what should I have been using against you? Moon dust. Oh, okay. Ah, yes, it's... I guess a lot of her abilities were actually transformations rather than magical. And black blood would have helped. We had vampire roll. Okay, so we weren't too far off, but yeah, I forgot about moon dust. Moon dust is better against shapeshifters. I should have been using that rather than my Demetrium. Right, we did use up a lot of our resources in that fight, so I'm actually going to take a rest quickly. Get our health and items back. There we go. So, where... For this new quest, out of interest, where would it be? That's the wrong menu. Right. Uh, this is a treasure hunt, surely. Level 47. Interesting. I mean, we... How far away is that? Could I take a look into it? I mean, it's around here somewhere. And I've already taken out the monster guarding it, unless there's another monster. I mean, this could be a really bad idea. But, I, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna... Ooh. What's that? Notes of a death row convict. The sun is now rising. I shall make use of this light to write this letter before they come to take me to the gallows. I do not know who shall read it, or indeed if anyone shall. Perhaps I am writing only to myself to cast this out before my execution and cleanse my heart. Yes, I killed him. Until now I have lied in an attempt to avoid punishment. I still believe he deserved death for what he did to me. Did I do wrong? Perhaps. Yet he was most assuredly a bad man, one who deserved death. The gods shall make the final judgment, and they shall deliver the sentences, mine and his. I hear the guards' steps. May the gods watch over my soul. Okay, so that wasn't all loot, unfortunately. That was just... That was just something sad. Okay, that's just a plant. Possibly we could trigger another group of enemies, which is one thing I've got to be careful of here. Um, I don't really want to die for this, so we're going to have to be cautious when we find what we think we might be the treasure. God knows what could come out and attack us. It's got to be somewhere around here, though. Oh, hello. Right, what have we got here? This isn't the loot, but I'll take it all. I'll take that. Ooh, black armor die. Don't care about that at all. Got some gauntlets. Okay, that's pretty cool. Librarian's memoir. I was embezzled and I stole. I admit this and ashamed of my actions, but what was I to do? My salary as a scribe was so laughably meagre I was reduced to borrowing coin from my mother. I was a thief, but I also did a great deal of good for the palace library. Who secured the import of such tomes as the lives of the prophets, de hemimrohibilis, and the art of the midwifery of maidens and many others? The palace library has me to thank for the storehouse of all knowledge needed for a merry and satisfied life, and other rare tomes, such as Speculum Aureum and De Levis Senis et Figuris Camisis. Theft and embezzlement mean nothing. A man's true value shows in the manner in which he treats books. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, that has got to be the quest item. Uh, let's see if this actually gets us killed or not. Because my thinking here is, just to be clear, we fought a level 42 monster. Yeah, but this is a level 47 quest, so I'm thinking something bad's going to happen when I open this. Nope, nothing bad happened. What did I get? Ooh, new armour. Nice. A uh, bunch of resources. 268 crowns, lesser mutagen transmuter, and some florins. And a work order. What's the work order for? Order for the reorganisation and reform of Bastoy Prison to the Warden. By decree of blah blah blah. Dismiss half of the prison's guard staff. Forbid the use of corporal force. Discontinue punishment by dark cells, limited rations and flogging. Permit the prisoners to access private property. Allow prisoners to walk at will around the penitentiary grounds. Purchase, using the included funds, victuals of the finest quality and hire a teacher to instruct. Oh, okay, yeah, they, it was an actual proper reform. Which somehow resulted in this whole place going to hell. The warden getting impaled, the guards skinned alive, and the whole thing burning down. Yeah, no, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, gotta be honest. 
Okay, well, that was pretty cool. We fought a quite a high-level monster, you know, four levels above our own. Challenging, but not impossible. Um, and we survived. Ooh, there's another dead body there. Hello. No, oh, fine, I'll have that. Um, we explored some cool ruins, and we got a whole bunch of money out of it, which isn't bad. Uh, now, we do have another quest to do over in this area, but I think because this episode is running on really far too long, I am going to take a break here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all this. Do, as always, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and hopefully I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. Bye!